and thank you so much for your support. A roar of approval at a virtual victory party. They're still counting a few remaining ballots in Abigail Spanberger's sprawling congressional district in central Virginia. Like the nation, it is a sea of red with islands of blue. But with the help of the populist suburbs near Richmond, the first term Democrat is on track to eke out a narrow 1% win. I said I would find common ground and I said I would hold my ground when necessary. And I have done just that. As of right now, we're 20 points up. Republican challenger Nick Freitas was way up on election night, but late counting absentee votes swallowed the margins of a candidate analysts say had bound himself closely to the president. Trump has so deeply alienated suburban areas and particularly suburban women that it is going to be increasingly difficult for a certain type of a hard right or Trump supporting Republican to get elected in any district that's suburban or urban. The seventh was held for 13 years by Eric Cantor, the Republican majority leader. He was primaried by David Brad, who ran to Cantor's right. Spanberger beat him two years ago, in part, she says, by focusing on person to person contact. The grandparents driving their grandkids from Nottaway to Chesterfield every Friday to use the internet at the public library. There's such a strong feeling among much of the public to get back to some sense of normalcy and just turning down, um, you know, the temperature in this country. A hopeful vision, but some think they see signs of change. Bruce Lachan, WUSA 9.